Hello and welcome to TA for Traders. It's Thursday the 11th of May and I'm Nigel Croft. In this video we'll be looking at the Australian dollar versus the US dollar. Over the last few weeks the Aussie dollar has been very weak. Uh, this has been a combination of lower commodity prices and weak economic data coming out of Australia and perhaps coming out of China as well. Uh, this week retail sales came out weak in Australia um, at the start of the week. Uh, what we'll see is that the Aussie dollar against the US dollar has become oversold. However, there is the start of a sign of a pickup if you look at the four hourly. Um, the RSI is picking up there and this could, if we break through the resistance, could be the start of a short term rally. Thank you. Here we have the daily, so each candle represents one day and you can see the weakness that we've had in the Aussie dollar and uh, you can see um, the RSI did go oversold, it's bounced slightly last couple of days but still uh, down at 34.25 and you can see a severe the severe downtrend that we're, that we're in um, are we at the bottom level of a downtrend and, and can we bounce uh, from this chart you can see that all the moving averages um, the yellow one here 20 day the blue 50 and the red 200 day are all moving downwards indicative of um, negative sentiment but we are slightly extended away from those moving averages and also we did go oversold so maybe you know let's have a look here we have the four hour chart now here you can see the possibility of a potential start of a rally we've come back and then rallied and the uh, we've, we've got a pattern of higher lows only two of them at the moment but that's at least a start also you can see that the RSI is now starting to create a slight uptrend which is indicative of positive momentum it's not yet back above 50 it's at 43.34 but is showing early signs also the MACD the short terms moved above the long term again a sign that upside momentum is starting to build what I would say is that we need to break the resistance um, on that high to break this pattern of lower highs that we've seen in the four hour. If we break that, then very easily we could break up towards this uh, 54 hour moving average at 0.7424. But we do need to break this resistance first of all. Um, looking at a longer term chart, here we have the weekly, so each candle represents one week. And um, you can see we've moved back below the moving averages. They're actually still tracking upwards, so still, a, still are actually a, a, a positive, will be giving positive sentiment to the market on the 20 and the 50 week moving average. The 200 is downtrending. Um, if you look here, we did have a reverse head and shoulders. It did. It wasn't confirmed with a break up towards the 78, and now obviously that that pattern is completely broken. We're just range trading, and we're getting towards the the lower boundary of the range. Um, 72 is the lower boundary. I mean, there you would expect support. The market would be very oversold. In fact, it's nearly oversold now on this weekly down at 41 spot 15 on the RSI. MACDs rolling over, um, a delayed factor on the weekly. Um, the weekly is kind of point is, is just a neutral mid range and not giving any signs. As I said, the key is the four hour and the resistance levels there, and the fact that we're slightly oversold. Looking at the support resistance, as I said, this is the key 73,944. That's the recent high that we had on the uh, four hour chart and needs to be broken. If we can break through there, then maybe we'll get up to the uh, 20 day 748 with the supports 
73294 and then 71602. This has been TA for traders looking at the Aussie dollar against the US dollar. Thanks for watching the video. If you're not a subscriber, please do click the subscribe button. I've got videos coming out most days, not just on foreign currency, but also on commodities, equity indices and also individual stocks. Uh, please remember that these videos are inf for information purposes only uh, and for educational purposes and in no way are meant as an investment recommendation. Please do read the disclaimer. Thank you.